So we've got Abdullah did an experiment. You may have seen my experiment last year as well. We were collecting cans out of bins, bottles, etc., showing how easy it is to make coin in South Australia at recycling, going through the bins, etc. I don't recommend going through the city bins because there's not that much and they get cleaned out pretty quickly. But suburban bins, the yellow bins in the morning, really good. I mean, the bill's going good here and he's just showing you people just throw recycling into the landfill. That's how fucked up a society we are. We throw recyclables into landfill. It's fucking crazy, man. Cunts can't even put a fucking recyclable can in a fucking yellow lid bin. We're just chucking tr like recyclables into landfill. That's how fuck. That's why we have no fucking hope for the future. Anyway, if you want more no hope for the future, let's say you're a backpacker in Australia and you're on the beach in Torquay, Melbourne, or whatever, and you, you see all these in New Year's Day, you see all this trash all over the beach, all this litter, and you're thinking, fuck, there's ten cents per can per bottle. If I fill up my van or big bag, and then travel to South Australia with it, I can cash in on that. In a South Australia, you could do that. But if you're going to bring cans or bottles across the border, just this little invisible line called the border in Australia, you risk a $30,000 fine. Here you go. Look at that. It's a, an offence to claim a refund on beverage containers purchased outside of South Australia. Even though the fucking, this Sunkiss can might cost me a dollar in Coles in South Australia or a dollar in Coles in Victoria or whatever's. If you bring it back to South Australia and try and get your 10 cents back, you risk a $30,000 fine. It's an offence. It's a criminal offence to bring your fucking sun-kissed can across the border. <laughs> fucking crazy, man. It is fucking insane. So if you bring in aluminium across the border <laughs> and it says 10 cents on the back and you have intent to fucking recycle that motherfucker out of a collection depot and get your fucking 10 cents back, you risk going to fucking get a $30,000 fine, motherfucker. Isn't it crazy, man? It is insane. Um, it's, that's, that's, that's why we have no hope for the planet. No fucking hope for the planet at all. Look at this fucking stupid laws we have. Even in Australia, which is a pretty fucking progressive place, man. It's the first little problem I'm talking about right now, but it's that's why we have no hope, man. We can't even agree in Australia about recycling fucking cans. And in South Australia leads Australia... About 80% of these fuckers get recycled, get, go back to the depots. That's pretty fucking good. And the rest of Australia, we just fucking throw them in the waterways, throw them in the beaches you see all over the place. South Australia, man, if you see cans and bottles on the ground, they're going to be getting snapped up real quick by all the people who, do, who are doing what Abdullah and myself have done, collecting cans for cash. They get snapped up real quick. It's a viable income for sure, 100 bucks a day, pretty easy to get if you're willing to work for it in South Australia, so 500 bucks a week, cash in your pocket, power meters coming in two weeks, fucking top, top shelf bikes coming in a couple of months, you can do it homeless in South Australia, set up camp, just go recycling all day, getting paid to train on your bike. You want to be a professional cyclist? Fuck going to Europe, come to South Australia, put a fucking bob trail on the back of your bike, and fucking recycle the fuck out of those yellow bins. Done.